Okay, to give you a quick look at what I'm doing in the back of my Chevy Equinox. Um, I'm working on building out a sleeping platform so I can go camping in the back of this thing. Um, and I'm trying to keep it as simple as I possibly can. Um, this is just the rough layout just to give you an idea as to what's going on. Um, I've got a um, three-quarter inch, four by eight sheet plywood um, that is um, oak plywood. It's really heavy, really solid, um, and I think I spent about 70 bucks on that piece of plywood just because I want something really solid and really sturdy because I'm a big guy. Um, uh, I want to make sure that what I'm laying on is solid and will support me and hold up for a while. So three-quarter inch plywood. Um, I've seen ideas that use two by two by fours for the supports underneath. I decided to go with um, four by fours just because, as I said, they're sturdy, they're bigger, they're sturdier, and will add more support. I haven't decided yet whether the center support is going to be a two by four or four by four, or if I'm just going to use um, thinner sheets of the plywood underneath as um, vertical support. I haven't figured that out yet, but I will um, get to it eventually. Um, the whole thing is uh, 37 inches wide. It's 37 inches across between the two wheel wells here. Um, I left a little space on either side just so there's a little wiggle room there um, because I'm going to end up putting carpet on the top of this. But um, it's, at least I think I'm going to do carpet. I haven't haven't completely sold myself on that yet. Um, but it's 37 wide by 68 inches long. I think I, I think the mattress that I bought to put on this thing is like 75 inches long. So I may have to make this a little bit longer to make it work. Um, but right now it's 68 by, by 37. And let me go around the side here and give you a look from this side. And the idea is that when when it's in sleeping mode or camping mode, whichever whatever you want to call it, um, th this part will fold out, and this will fold out to the back. And then when in drive mode, this will fold back onto this but by the piano hinge that's here. And then the whole thing will fold back onto the trunk part by that piano hinge. And the idea is to be able to um, leave this in the back of the car um, or take it out easily if I need to, but still save the, uh, the back seats here. Because the, the back seat is just one solid bench that goes all the way across. It does slide forward and move back some. And um, there's a 60-40 split between the, uh, the backs that do lay down. Um, and this can move forward and move back a little bit. But the, the problem is, either way, there's a gap between the back of the seats and where the trunk floor starts. And I was going to have to build some type of platform to cover that over anyway. And I didn't really want to do that, but I kind of have to. So this is just kind of the rough outline right now. Um, I, I cut the supports today um, for the back end just so I can fit all the pieces in here and get an idea as to what it's going to look like. Um, trying to figure out what I'm going to need for, for additional hardware. Um, I know that I'm going to need supports of some sort underneath the edges uh, where the pieces connect there, especially on this back piece. So I'm thinking possibly L braces or something to, stick, to attach to the underside to give the middle piece part um, a lip to sit on. Um, so that's kind of flat. And to make it a little more stable there in the center. I'll probably add a, some type of um, bracing underneath the center there just to give a little extra support on the back of the seats. Um, and I have additional 4x4 lumber that I will end up using, um, more than likely end up using for leg supports underneath the head up here. Um, I'll cut a leg to, to go on either side and probably one there in the center just to give this support so it, it'll be sturdy and stable. Um, you know, it's, 
it's coming along. The ideal is progressing. Um, but just wanted to give folks a quick look at what I'm thinking, what I'm trying to accomplish, and we'll see how the rest of it goes. Okay, here's kind of a look at what the back end of this one looks like when the seats are folded up. Um, the ideal being that all of this would fold back and collapse into the back so I can keep the back seat in and be able to fold them back and use that part of the vehicle as it's meant to be used. Um, you know, if I'm traveling, if I have somebody that's going with me, um, you know, whoever can, can sit in the back there. And, um, and when I'm driving someplace, I can fold everything up and put it all back here in the back and have it kind of hidden behind the seats. And I've got a... Um, uh, moving blanket that's going to kind of serve as a, a cover, kind of quasi-security kind of blanket back here to, to cover what's back there and make it a little less visible. Um, the back window's tinted, so um, that'll help some. But all of this is going to go back here in the back and kind of fold down just like that. I definitely think that this back platform it's going to have to be raised at least another inch, maybe two inches. Um, I want to make make it so there's at least five inches of room underneath there. Um, just so I can fit my camp chair and some other stuff back there. And I think I'm going to do um, some small drawers or something to go back there to, to store some stuff that um, I keep in the car anyway. Like my camp chair and the, the window shades and... Um, some different stuff and I'm also thinking that since I've got some extra lumber I'm going to do um, either a pull out table or a fold out table um, here in the back I'm not sure not sure how I'm going to go about it yet but there's I think I will have an extra camping table that either pulls out or folds out or something so, um, but that's where we are for now